Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. When we left off last time, we finished messing up the Sabat today. Sabat in the Hollowbrook Hotel. Excellent times. And when we came out, our uh, Chinatown Kuijin came down to tell her she's she's ridiculous. She thinks that somehow she's gonna like convince me that now we wanna be friends and put aside our differences and she's giving me the warning that um Prince is gonna betray me or whatever, but please. She's putting it on. He's just using you. I mean, so is she. She's just trying to use me too, so. We'll stick with the user I'm familiar with. Rather than switching sides and throwing myself into something unknown. But I do kind of just want to chat with people. I don't know that we're going to go all over the place like we did before, but. Hello. Oh, of course. What is it you would like to know? If there's anything new. Nothing. Of course. Alright, no thanks, we're good. You know what, I think I'm just going to check in. <laughs> it brought Andre's pitiful existence to a violent end. I still quite enjoy that. Okay, um, we're skipping that. Yeah, like, that's... That's what we got right now, so let's just go turn that in. I mean, I have the feeling after our talk with our gal that we could possibly, like, go deviate over to the Quajin Central and talk to them, but I don't want to. I'm not going to betray... I don't know, I feel like talking with her would almost be a betrayal of betraying the kindred. I'm a scummy little kindred. That's how she sees it. I'm a scummy little kindred who could possibly be of use to her. So she thinks if she's nice to me and talks to me up like I'm something special, then I'll do what she wants me to do. And then as soon as she's got what she want and wants and doesn't need me anymore, she's going to cast me off because she basically thinks I'm filth. So, nope, not interested. Hey, Junk. Hey there. Can you believe what happened the other night? Crazy. I to work on a con. I bought a tamale from a street vendor and got the <laughs> sauce. Well, lucky thing, too, because that food poisoning saved my life. <laughs> That's one lucky bout of the runs. <laughs> You're telling me. But if I had been there, those punks wouldn't have gotten past the front desk. There's two things I can't tolerate, and that's terrorists and tainted tamales. All right. I hear that. I am glad you were not here, Chunk, and that you have survived to remain our wonderful security guard. I guess you can go on up. He wasn't expecting you, but it should be all right. Thank you. What do you mean he wasn't expecting me? Did he think I was going to die with the sabbat? Where's Beckett? I mean, it could... Be. Obviously, he could be using me, too. I just don't buy her thing about... He's gonna try to eventually kill me when I'm not of use to him, either. Like, I think more... Maybe it's just because my character is Bruja. Like, I've shown no political aspirations at all. I'm happy as long as he keeps me paid. I enjoy beating on things. Like, I can just be essentially another executioner for him. Isn't that more useful than killing me? Come on. The Sabbat. They are done. Another obstacle is removed. From the enemy, we resurrect a new order. And this, in no small part, to your service. Did you hear that? You were never able to wipe them out completely. Keep it up, and you may have his job. My unstoppable crusader. My victories in this city are in no small part due to you. Well, thank you for acknowledging that. You've done what I've asked without question, and you've done it well. Take this small token of my appreciation. We'll rule the city side by side, you and I. Thank you for that. Do you know, actually, like, it sounds nice and everything side by side, but I think I'd prefer just being a minion. I don't really want the responsibility of being the person in charge, and I don't really want the big target painted on my back either. There's still a target as a key minion, but not the same as being the head guy. I'm not really a leader. 
Sebastian. So you be the leader. I'll be a faithful follower. Don't really like that dig about you might replace your executioner. How about you keep your valuable pawns? I can just be another valuable pawn. There doesn't need to be any fear of getting rid of people or deciding someone suddenly that someone's not used to you, useful to you or whatever. Just, you know, let's try and keep things sort of steady and stable and vaguely safe. All right, so, found out how to get the key. You found the key. Well, who has it? Well, bad news. It's the Quajin. Yeah, I'm not going to... I don't... Number three I, just doesn't make sense to me, because I'm still convinced that the Alliance was never serious. He went into it intending to break it as soon as was convenient. it became inconvenient to him in the first place. And she went into it that way, too. I'm positive. Each of them were like, okay, we're an enemy of my enemy is my friend temporarily situation. They were just working with each other as long as it benefited them, entirely with the idea that as soon as it wasn't beneficial, they were going to stab the other in the back. Like, it, there's no surprise here. It's fine. So, Ming Zhao has it. And she figured out that you betrayed her. This nonsense again. Look, I told you before, no kindred would ever ally themselves with those demons. This is a subterfuge, a trick to start a civil war. And apparently, it's worked. Look, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, one and two, the same thing. So, nines is innocent. We know the truth there. And I like nines, and I feel bad taking out nines. But if I'm going to be head minion here, I understand why he would do it. <laughs> she's been honest with me before. She's been... She's got her own agenda, so we're not taking that option for sure. I, I do believe that what she told me was true, but I didn't. I don't believe that she told it to me because she wanted to be my friend and wanted me to know the truth of things. It was. It was convenient for her. It served her ends to tell me the truth in this particular instance, so that's why she did it. But, um, yeah. I mean, it's kind of scummy, but I totally get why he did it. It's a war with the Annex. This is a, deals in a serious blow between that and the Quajin. They're kind of folding over and under, and the Camarilla's just gonna... I mean... It's dirty fighting, but... It was a difficult decision to make, but I only did it for the greater good. The Quajin did not question my scheme, but I did it to bring all kindred under Camarilla government. I know. And I did so only so that we could finally wipe out the Quajin United. Oh, I figured. I knew that's you, what you were doing. <laughs> this could destroy someone, or not. For that. We are not about to start, especially considering what we know he just did, all of the subterfuge he orchestrated. We're not going to turn around and try and blackmail this guy. He's just going to find a way to off us. So, um... I never would have trusted them. It, it was never about trust. He never really did trust them. He was just trying to play them, and they were trying to play them. Him. Yeah, I don't know that I necessarily would have done the same, but I'm not going to fault him that he did. As of this moment, there is no blood hunt against Nines Rodriguez. Yeah? The Quajin have revealed that plot. They want us to war against each other? Well, to that, I propose an alliance with the Anarchs. Perhaps it'll work. Together, we kindred shall drive out these foreigners once and for all. I don't think it will. I mean, they won't, they won't enter an alliance with you. They really won't. They're not going to do it. You, The truth is out there. They're going to see that you're just saying, okay, well, these one group of people I was trying to use to take out these other guys I don't like didn't work, so let's see if we can just swap sides. And They're totally going to understand. The more likely thing is I would see the Anarchs temporarily working with the Quajin to try and drive the Camarilla out. They're not cool with the Quajin, but they really hate the Camarilla. Um, personally, I believe that the Anarchs will never enter an alliance with them. It seems extremely unlikely, but um, yeah, he's the man in charge. I'm just the minion, so you really think they'll trust you, eh? It's not a matter of trust. It's a matter of who they dislike more. True. The Camarilla or the Quajin. The Quajin killed their last leader and threatened mm. all of our kind. I think they'd agree to an alliance. Maybe, but not if they get wind of this plot you just had going with the Quajin. Then I think they're going to hate us more. The Quajin was a known enemy. The Camarilla, they've been uneasy about moving into their territory, but once they learned that you very specifically were plotting against them and framed their leader, then... 
the devil you know versus the one you don't, right? Camarilla is more unknown than the Kuei Jin. Alright, so um, I'm guessing he wants me to talk to him, but we'll play dumb. How do you expect them to agree to an alliance? Go for the last round immediately. Alright. Tell them the Kuei Jin have admitted to killing Grout, and that the blood hunt against Nines Rodriguez is officially over. Tell them I have realized the true threat the Kuei Jin pose and wish to negotiate a pact. You will be my emissary for the Alliance, so naturally you speak on behalf of the Oh Alliance. boy. Choose your words carefully. I will begin organizing plans for war. Good luck. The prosperity of all this city's kindred depends on your success tonight. This Sebastian is the problem with relying on minions. Or at least relying on a very small amount of minions and not an array of minions with varying skills. I'm a fighter. I'm obviously a fighter. I I mean and maybe he thinks that Dak could win some respect from the Anarchs, because they're generally kind of fighty too, but dude, you need someone to choose their words carefully who's good with words, and that is not not me. That's not the character build we have at all. Um, Alright. Let's see what I can do. Like, seriously, I think you're better at talking. You should go over there. Or maybe have the, the Tremere guy go over there. He might could do it. D uh, this is... I'm possibly going to bungle this. What kind of skill? It will be to 28 points. Hmm, it seems like manipulation, because they have very good reason to not do, not want to do what we're going to try to convince them to do. So, I wish I hadn't wasted any of those points in melee. Oh, well. Ugh. Well, okay, we'll get a little bit of manipulation, I think. A lot of bit of manipulation? Alright, 12 points left. We could get some more celerity. Hmm. Could be good. Potent. Ooh, one more point. Okay, yeah. I was thinking I hit that higher. Anyhow, yeah, I think we'll, we'll do that. Yeah, I can't really see this working out as he wants it to, but I guess desperate times, desperate measures. His best hope, I guess, is to try and move quickly before the Quajin spread too much of the plot. If they've already let the the Anarchs know what's going on, it's going to be trouble. But if they don't know the full extent of it yet... Where's the last round? It's down this way, isn't it? Let's just look at it. Them, yeah. If they don't know the full extent of it, then maybe we can hope to get to them before any of the Kuei Jin can talk to them. Alright, last strand is number 9, so we go, like, down past the boss. Alright, so yeah, this way. This boss I was referring to. This tower. Alright. Yeah, I feel very little confidence in this idea. But hopefully, I think most of the Anarchs... I mean, Damsel does kind of hate me, but I don't know. We have a sort of... Huh? Um, uh, how about the sarcophagus? Yeah? You are not sounding your normal smug and superior self. Not that I mind his smugness too much. It does grate a little bit, but also, like, I get that he's... I can't understand why he has it, you know? He's a lot- he seems much more educated than most. And he's completely apolitical, and I could see where that would make you feel superior to people who are constantly scrabbling and backbiting each other. Um, he's just doing his thing searching for knowledge, so... But, yeah, he sounds... You're looking pretty upset, buddy. Don't open it. Whatever you do, do not open the Ankaran sarcophagus. Why? You said there was nothing to worry about. Well, despite what I said, if that sarcophagus is opened, there will be disaster. How do you know? In what form, I cannot be sure. But after studying the evidence, I'm convinced now that it is better left undisturbed. And anyone who pursue any other course is deserving of the consequences. Alright, so... 
Is it an antediluvian? Is it Gehenna? Uh, in what form? He said he can't be sure, so he doesn't know. But there's something that's given him pause, so what made you change your mind? There's an intangible sensation I haven't been able to put my finger on since I came to town. Yeah, you mentioned that before when we first met. where it seeps from. But if the sarcophagus is a possibility, to eliminate that chance, it should remain closed. That's all you got? If Gehenna has begun, then we are all doomed. No matter what course of action we take. Then we may as well open it, right? Alright, well thanks for the warning. I thought you deserved a chance. There's a good possibility we may not meet again. Goodbye, young one. Well, thank you. Is, is he gonna be okay? Or what, is he just getting out of town? He's done here? It's, so we may not meet again, why? Because he thinks the doom is going to sweep me up and kill me? Or he's worried for himself? But that was kind of him. I thought you deserved a chance, so we've made some kind of impression on him. The problem with this is that more than anything, it makes me really want to open the sarcophagus because I want to know what is inside. Yeah, I totally want to tempt fate, and I really shouldn't. It's very stupid. Especially because this is World of Darkness, and so it's entirely probable that there is going to be some horrible consequence to opening it. But oh man, do I want to open it. Well, probably too, if it comes down to a choice of are you going to open this or not, as I'll like save beforehand and I'll open it, and then if it's disastrous, <laughs> then I'll go back and see what happens if you don't open it. But, um, yeah, curiosity is burning. Hey, damsel. You are so lucky this is Elysium, Cammy. Alright, I need to talk to Nines. Actually, you know what? Let's give her the rude one. She's rude to me. Yeah. Nope. You kinda do. Yeah. Oh man, okay, we gotta go with number two. It's delightful. Settle down, Tartan Tiny. No, that's good. Okay, we'll be, we'll be kind of nice. I do. I kind of like her despite her irrational anger. Because she is a bit of a source of amusement. Blood Hunt is off. It was Joe. Well. Good luck with that. I've heard that equation are pretty tough, but, you know, you could try it. <laughs> I'm loving these number two options, but I'll restrain myself. Alright, so you understand now that I need to talk to Nines. Okay, alright. I'm fine. Nines, yeah. I can't believe it's coming to this. Oh, I hate those goddamn devils anymore, and I hate that fascist dandy prince. Do you really? I wasn't getting on that. All right, got it. So, uh, where's Nines? Nines is. Uh, oh, I still don't know. I can tell you more, but Nines is hiding out in Rippin' Cross. Nines agrees to the Alliance. Does that mean me and the camera will be on the same side? With all those eats and vomit. It doesn't really mean you're on the same side. It just means you're not actively fighting each other at the moment. So then, all right, Griffith Park. Thank you. I really want to talk to Jack, though, and see what's going on with... Where is he? Dude, where's Jack? Oh, I really wanted to know what he had to say about all this. What the hell did you want? Nothing. From you. Nah, um... Hey, I heard that. You heard what? Settle down, settle down. I like her shoes, though. Griffith Park. Um, is that something I've seen yet, or is that going to be like a special area? It's probably a special area on the map, I'm guessing. To the taxi!
Mm. Also, I should stop by home. There's been a lot going on. There might be a new email. We'll check it out. Cut through this away. Oh, I gotta fill up. Don't want to bum. Got sick off them in this part of town before. Ooh, who's this? Right down in the corner. He looks promising. Ah, he's standing right where she can see, though. Bummer. We're gonna miss out. Oh, I'll worry about it in a minute. I know I could feed off the hookers, but I kind of don't want to. Their life is hard enough already. They don't need to worry about vampires in addition to everything else. End game, eh? Position of your piece is, pieces is the key to the end game. So what? Does it mean how people feel about me based on the way I've played throughout the game and decisions I've made? I feel pretty alright about how I've done. I mean, Beckett obviously likes me. Gary, I think, is probably fond of me. Isaac doesn't have good reason to hate me. I saved Ash after all. And I didn't tell him any of the mean things about being a coward that I could have, that he kind of deserved. Jeanette, it, she likes me. Totally insane, but she likes me. And I helped out the news for Atu, so I think most of them would probably feel pretty alright towards me. Where are you going? Alright, let's get the quick save in here. Because if I bungle things, and get the police on me trying to eat this guy. I'm just gonna load. Okay. Really? Yeah, see? I'm not dealing with that. Oh, before I go here, I should probably go. Ugh, I should stop somewhere and buy some blood packs. I really should. I'm not gonna. But I should. I acknowledge that it would be the smart thing to do. I just don't feel like it. I'm excited to talk tonight. It's been a while. you take me to the play? Yeah, Griffith Park, please. Hmm. So are they inside? They gotta be. I can't. I can't go out here in the trees. All right. I'm assuming he's going to have some kind of entourage. He wouldn't be hiding out just by himself, right? Hmm. 
Alright. Don't attack. I'm just here to talk. Nine's he in here? Hmm. I think I'm gonna have to. Don't really trust it, but what can you do? Alright. So be it. Can't get past the turn shadow. That's quite the view. Ah, there he is. Okay, take it easy. Just gonna talk. Just gonna talk. Good to see you again, kid. Heard you made quite a name for yourself. No small feat in this city. I hear LaCroix needs us all of a sudden. Yeah. Well, I'll be damned. Well, his attempt to destroy it didn't work, so he'd like an alliance instead. Does he now? You know, we just ended a war with them and we lost a lot of people. Too many. Does he expect us to do all the fighting while the Camarilla throws mean looks from the sidelines? Pretty much. Or are they ready to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with those goddamn devils? Well, I personally am I'm ready to go toe-to-toe, side-by-side -to -toe, side with you guys. But... That's because I'm a vampire that just likes to beat things. Um, I can't really make any guarantees for the rest of the Camarilla. All we've seen with the Prince thus far is that he sends other people to do the fighting for him. So I wouldn't really count on him. But, you know. Alright, they'll fight. He does want the Quajin dead just as much as the Anarchs do. Who knows what he's planning. Um, yeah. They're kind of willing to do anything it takes to make this alliance happen, mostly. But, eh, I think we'll go number two. I still don't trust LaCroix. Well, you shouldn't. And again. The Camarilla didn't wholesale slaughter us upon arrival. God damn it. I'm stuck between a rock and a son of a bitch. It's true, I don't envy you. There's not really a good choice for you here. Alright. Well, look, I can tell you, Nines, I will fight the Quajin with you, for sure. Have you ever fought them? Yep. Do you know what they're capable of? How they mm -hmm. view our kind? Uh-huh. Demons in battle. Killed my predecessor. I heard. It's strange, though. LaCroix wanting to war against them all of a sudden? Something's not right. It's not. It's not, um... Sincerely wants to protect the kindred. I think he sincerely wants to protect the kindred of the city that are willing to abide by the Camarilla rules and subject themselves to him, pretty much. I don't know. I get on Isaac for not actually protecting his people. Would the prince do better? May I don't know, maybe. He hasn't really fought for me thus far, but I haven't really been in like a tough situation that I needed him to fight for me. And I kind of, the way that I started out, you know, was that I had to prove myself anyhow, so it's a bit of a different situation. I think he maybe does care some about taking care of his people. I don't think it's because he values them as people, but I think he likes being in a position of authority, and you can't be in a position of authority if you don't have people that you have authority over, right? So he, he needs underlings in that sense. So I think he would try to take care of his people just so that he has people to continue to essentially be the prince over, you know? So, um... Oh, I feel so bad. I, I need to just kind of lie to this guy to help out the camera. Look at that face he's making, that face. He's so full of doubt. Like, he's going to seriously consider anything I say, and I could sway this guy. And he's looking at me like, oh my gosh, everything's horrible. Just please don't lie to me. 
Okay. You can't trust the Prince Nine. It's pretty sure I can. I uh, I can't bring myself to say he sincerely wants to protect the kindred of the city. Um I don't know, I think an alliance is for the best. I, the prince is still gonna come gunning for you after the fact. An alliance could actually, in some ways, be really bad for the prince because Nines is already a threat because he's so charismatic. And if he, if there's an alliance and then Nines just destroys a bunch of Kuei Jin, then people are gonna like him even more. Um, I don't know, I feel scummy saying number four, though. We're just gonna go with number one. Not what I mean, kid. Smell that? Smells like smoke. We gotta get out of here. Huh? What, what do you mean? Kid, we've been followed. That fire's coming Holy from all crap. It's man-made. We gotta get out of here. This is bad. Okay. <laughs> Big deal. It's pretty far off. No, there's like ash raining down on us. It's not just a little fire. Both of these options are stupid. He's right. No, kid. You don't understand. The fire wasn't set to kill us. Come on. We gotta get to the tram. What? Is someone trying to capture it? Obviously you understand something that I don't. Now more important is he's right. We really do just need to get out of here because we are extremely flammable. But what's going on here, Nines? I didn't hide out here because it was a nice view. I did it because no one would come looking for me in these parts. This is werewolf country. Wait. There's werewolves trying to burn us out? <laughs> we can take them. Um, I actually don't really know if we can take them or not. Haven't fought any werewolves. Uh, and Nines is a pretty tough fella, and he's scared of them, so I should probably follow his lead here. Uh, can't we tell him it wasn't us? Werewolves don't talk to us. Werewolves don't care. They kill on sight. Now let's move. Okay, let's do. Alright. We can take them just seem because I, I can't really say that. I don't know if we can or not. You... So you scared of where this is the trouble with just being typed. I don't know if this is going to be coming out like a taunt, like, what, you scared of werewolves? Or more like a, you're scared of werewolves? Like, what, tell me why you're scared. I guess we're going to go number two, yeah, try it out. scared of werewolves. 500 pounds of hair and claw. Guns are useless, and getting close is suicide. The only thing to do is run. Now let's get to the tram. Can't we stay no, time? No, the tram's, the tram's leaving. Okay, I got your back. But Shit, that's... It's leaving. Yeah. Come on, kid. We gotta get inside that building until it comes back. <gasps> um. Nines. Oh, this is a pickle. Oh boy. And he said, "Don't get close." That's that's my standard. It's huge! Oh my god, it's huge! Oh, it's... This is bad. Ah! <laughs> Can I go inside the building? If it swipes at me while I'm trying, that's pretty well the end, isn't it? Ah, uh, run away! I've just got to not die. <laughs> it's so big. Wait, where am I at? Ah, really? Oh, that's rough. Very well. Okay, I'll go ahead and wind the upside down here. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back now off screen. I'm going to go ahead and feed until I'm full, and I'm going to stock up on some blood packs. Then I'm going to head back. I'm going to take the same conversation options that I took before. Get a quick save in up there in the werewolf battle, and I will meet you there. Um, I, I'm not, I don't know, I don't feel good about trying to kill that thing because it takes out a lot of health per hit. And Nines did specifically say, don't get close. I think I'm going to have to try to just just run around and kite it until the tram gets back. I think that's my best shot.